Yeah, hi Bruce from Safari and uh, what we're doing here now is we've got a solid state battery here that we're going to discharge at 2C and um, we've just fully charged it. It's just uh, minutes ago come off fully charge. You can see we're at a 1 degree C so on my phone here I've got the cell differentials in temperature and voltage uh, any blocking charge, not blocking charge in the capacity and up here we're going to see the amount of power going out so uh, let's power this up and turn this on so we can see the AC loads up here, or let's take the grid off one. Righto, so we're powering up these loads at the moment. Oh, I've just got this twisted to... We're just powering these loads up at the moment. We're at 48. Uh, David, just give us a bit more. We've got on the battery, we're at 99 amps on the battery. We want to... Oh, no, that's about right. We're after 100. We're at 99.1 there. Uh, 5,118 watts because of the voltage of the battery. Um, and then what we see down here is what the cell difference in the cell voltages are here. So we just had them fully charged, so that's about 24 millivolts there, one degree C that you can see there. And uh, we're just going to run this uh, for a bit. So this morning when we did it, we got uh, uh, the full discharge out of it, and it was still doing full power at uh, 4%. So we're just going to watch um, the battery capacity here now and the load that we've got. So that's the AC load, that's the battery load and uh, we'll let that run there now for a while but you can see live here these uh, cells will change so the first number here is the battery number which is zero and the second one is the cell number so we've got eight and sixteen there and one and four on the temperature so you can see at that amount of discharge the, the cell voltage here will start to become very close um, after charge there's a little differential there but you know they'll come back here very very close and the temperature differential you can see here it's 1 to 2C so that's running there now um, and if I come out of this display just to show you where we are we can see up here we're doing 101 amps 101 amps and I have this in the uh, detail display here and we also have here uh, in this battery the parameters so it can discharge at 100 amps continuous um, charge at 27 because it's uh, virtually full uh, but uh, discharge at 100 and so the way we have this set up is that 100 amp discharge is giving the uh, uh, discharge current limit to the inverter anyway and it's going to sit on that uh, on that 100 amps so we're at 101 it's varying between 99 and 101 um, here are the uh, cell voltages and temperatures that you can see running here and the battery has got a flashing green light around the uh, start stop button when it's discharging solid green when it's charging um, and of course uh, when it's off there's no LED light at all so that's what we've got on top of the battery here so this is CAN coming up at the moment into uh, the Victron Turbo that we're reading here and uh, we'll just let this continue run and then I'll speed up the video. I'm running the uh, film here at 20 times the normal speed. But you can see the clock at the top and see it's running. I just, uh, otherwise you're watching the grass grow. Okay, we're getting to the pointy end now. We're at 29 minutes. Uh, 
and you can see 5% here. You'll see the current load here has gone up to 104, 105 amps because the voltage has dropped because it's set um, on the uh, load here and that is now uh, turned off. The load, the AC load is turned off because the discharge current limit must have gone to zero. Let's just have a look. So the battery is saying, yeah, don't discharge me anymore at zero. Uh, which is excellent. You see the charge current limit's quite low while well, it's quite low there, but there we are uh, full power all the way down to the 5% level. Battery voltage is 50.93. I mean the bottom of the cell voltage here is 40. So um, quite a bit of capacity there and let's just have a look at this. So we're at 5%. The temperatures are hovering between 57 and 59. That's quite good. So this battery was fully charged and then after fully charged, fully discharged. So that's a fairly typical full cycle. It, it was fully discharged this morning, fully charged, and now fully discharged. So it's done a complete cycle. It's online. There's no modules here blocking charge or blocking discharge at the BMS level, but it has sent a command to Victron to say set the uh, charge current limit to zero. I've got to say, how good's that?